Hi, my name is Callaway Cass. I'm a senior design engineer at VPT in Blacksburg, Virginia. And today I'm going to talk to you about trimming the output voltage on some of our converters. Uh, quite a few of our converter product lines, you can trim the output voltage, either adjust it up or down. Uh, so if you need a non-standard output voltage, let's say you need 10 volts, we make 12 volt converters, well with one resistor you can operate that 12 volt converter at 10 volts. So if you look at the data sheets for our products uh, that have the output voltage trim functionality, you'll see a schematic that looks something like this. Uh, this represents a converter here and in the data sheet there's some other circuitry in here that I'm not showing. And you see uh, dash lines showing where to connect our trim for trimming the output voltage down from nominal and then the location for connecting our trim to trim up from the nominal output voltage. So to connect one of our converters uh, with a trim resistor to trim up, we would connect that resistor directly from the trim pin down to the minus sense pin. Now oftentimes uh, you would connect the minus sense and the minus V out pins uh, together directly, but if you're connecting the remote sense lead out closer to the load, then you want to make sure that you connect the trim resistor to the sense pin, and then the sense pin is out closer to the load. And then to connect, uh, to trim the output voltage down, uh, you use the similar connections but going up to the plus sense or the plus V out. In order to determine the value of R trim that needs to be connected to trim the output voltage up or down, locate the trim ta table in the data sheet for the product you are using. In this case, I'm using an example of the VPT100 2812S converter. In the left column of the trim table, you will see the V out uh, adjustment range from plus 10% to minus 20% of nominal. Check the data sheet for the product you are using for the exact trim range available. In the right column, you see the value of our trim that needs to be connected in order to achieve this output voltage. You'll see in the middle, uh, 12 volts is the nominal output voltage for this converter. If you want to trim higher, you need to connect this value of resistor to the R trim up location. And likewise, if you need to trim down from the nominal voltage, you need to connect the resistor in the R trim down location. In the example I will demonstrate in the lab later for the VPT 12S, I'll operate the converter at its nominal 12 volts output, and then I will connect a 2.39K resistor in the trim up position to achieve 13 volts output. Finally, I'll connect the 41.1K resistor in the trim down position to demonstrate 10 volts V out. Now I have the VPT100 2812S converter running here in the lab. You'll see that with no trim resistor connected, it has the nominal 12 volts output. I've chosen a 2.4K, which is closest value to 2.39K specified in the trim table for 13 volts output. When I connect the 2.4K resistor in the trim up location, you'll see the output voltage is now 13 volts. For the trim down, I've chosen a 41K resistor, which is nearest closest standard value to the 41K, 0.1K specified in the trim table, uh, to achieve 10 volts output. When I connect the 41K resistor, you will see the output voltage is now 10 volts. Again, my name is Callaway Cass, and thank you for watching this segment on trimming the output voltage on VPT's DC-DC converter line.